Today we'll be doing an unboxing and initial review of the new Cast King Royal Legend Elite Reel. This series of reels come in different speeds and colors. It ranges from 5.3 to 1, 6.6 to 1, 7.3 to 1, and this right here, 8.1 to 1 gear ratio. And they all are color coded from, from white, blue, black, and red. This is the Rage Red version. And when I say 8.1 to 1 gear ratio, this guy here, when you spin the handle one full rotation, the spool right here spins 8.1 times, making this the fastest of the four reels. Out of all the casting reels, this is by far their smallest form bait casting reel. You can actually fit the whole thing in your palm like this. And this thing weighs 7.2 ounces. This reel utilizes a magnetic braking system. It has five magnets and you guys could adjust and fine tune your casting by the knob right here on the side plate. It has 10 easy settings. Since this reel only uses magnets, I don't see myself opening up side plate much, but I have other reels in the past where the side plate disengage button is actually at the bottom here. And when I put my rod reel in a rod holder, sometimes that button gets disengaged because of the weight of the rod and the side plate actually falls out. That won't happen here because of, of course, the two features right here, the ergo twist and the swing wing style side plate. It's like a transformer, guys. Autobots, roll out. <laughs> this reel has 17.6 pounds of drag, so it's perfect for bass fishing. And you know what? It's also salt ready. So for inshore fishermen who like like fluke fishing, perfect, perfect reel. Enough talking about this reel. Let's spool this bad boy up and get out there and see if we can catch some fish. I want to see how well this reel could cast. Before I get out there and start fishing guys, sorry about the noise, there's a lot of cars uh, where I'm fishing at, but take a look at this. The Royal Elite versus the Speed Demon. The size difference is like amazingly different. <laughs> oh man, this, this guy right here is so much smaller. Jeez, and look at the handles. Look at that. All right, so anyway, I'm gonna be picker up fishing today. So I got some braid line here, that's some, um, Thin line, this is actually 20 pound test line. And I'm gonna put some 20 pound leader material because I don't want uh, the pickles to be biting through my line. So this is it, right here. Cast King, the Dora Blend monofilament, uh, monofilament leader. This is like typical, um, people usually use this for salt water, but I use it for fresh water as my leader. And what I'm throwing today is, I've never thrown this before. This is the, oh, come on, you open up. This is the River 2C. They're basically a walk bait right here. Come on, got it. Top water bait. This is a sexy shad color, I think. Let's see what it says right here. Ha, huh, look at that. You know it. Obviously, it's a sexy shad. Huh. Very clever. So this should cast very far. Make some rattles. Got some trouble hooks there. So yeah, those pickerels not gonna escape me today. Oh boy, guys, it's so windy today. All right, so let's see. The first thing you want to do is balance this right here. Let it drop slow. I don't know about the braking system. It's magnetic brake, so I'm going to turn up relatively, at least in the center. Put it six right now, see how it goes. But let's, all right. Maybe, maybe I could change it up a little bit, but so far so good. Cast. Look at that walk bait. All right, let me, uh, oops. Let's change this around, shall we? Let's uh, make it drop further. Distance not too bad. I think I can make it further, hold up. Let's bring it back in. Let's change this to like a break number four. Let's see what's going on. Oh yeah, got some distance. Not too bad. Not too bad. So I think I'm gonna cast a few more times to see um, what kind of distance I can get. Obviously, these hard baits, you could cast like a mile. So I think what I want to do is I'm gonna put on jig and pig later too. I want to play around with some skipping because uh, my speed demon, I love it. I love it to death. Speed demon is very fast. And what I like about speed demon is that you could cast it so far. But the issue with that is their, their magnetic brake system is a little, I would say, weak sauce. And um, yeah, I can't really skip it that well. 
I mean, I can sometimes if I, you know, be really, really good at it. But, um, you know, there are times where I backlash like crazy, skipping a lure, even at max breaks. And I usually throw my lures with it, um, you know, break number eight or number seven. But right here, man, I'm throwing this guy right here. I'm going to break number three. I'm going to go to like number two, see what's going on. Oh, nope, that's a little bit too much. But uh, break three, it was it was pretty good. I guess these brakes here are way stronger, way stronger than the, what do you call that, the speed demon. Because I can't catch any fish, guys, I switched to the jig and peg. Hopefully I'll jig something up, but ultimately I want to do some skipping. Right now I have this that's break number eight, and uh, that's very cool. Oh, nope, it went straight down. Hold up. Try it again. Okay. All right. Let's skip, okay? Look at that skip right there. That's key, man. Backhand skipping, that's that's my style right there. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about guys. Those skips are really important in the summertime. Might not be catching fish, but you know, being able to practice those type of skips right there, it makes my day. What I like about this fast reel is that I can bring it right back in. Oh, that was bad. And yeah, redo it so quick. Look at that skip. And didn't even touch, well, went back just a little bit. But uh, you know, I didn't really thumb that one. Breaks here is amazing. One more time, guys. Look at that. Pretty good. Breaks on nine, almost max. And, um, Let's see how fast this thing is dropping. Let's just double check. Oh man, it's dropping pretty fast. That's my setup right now for my skipping. Pretty happy with that. Look at that. That's what I like about this reel. It's gonna be my new favorite reel very soon, especially if I can catch a fish on this. Man, that was too bad I couldn't catch any fish today, but guys, this reel was amazing. I love how far I cast with it, especially the brakes was the most, most impressive part because I didn't need to set the brakes really, really high and it's just a magnetic brake system. Heck, this actually had one less brake than the Speed Demon and woo, I was casting things pretty far and I was very comfortable using brake setting number three out of the 10. And when I was skipping, I had a set on, I believe eight and nine and I was able to skip the lure unlike using the Speed Demon. So I was like, man, this is gonna be an awesome reel. Especially in the summertime where sometimes all those Bass and the predator like to be like under covers, whether it's inside a pipe or overhanging trees. Getting the stuff skipped all the way underneath those trees is crucial. If you guys want to learn more about this reel, go ahead and check out the link in the description below as I left a link to Amazon. You'll notice that this reel comes in many different speeds and each speed is actually color coded. And this is the first reel out there that Casking has brought out that actually have any sort of color coding based by speed. I think right now Casking is the only company that's doing this, so this is pretty, pretty cool. I know tournament anglers are pretty picky with their techniques. Sometimes they need to set up a rod for a specific technique and then another rod for a different technique. But when you are in a grind, a time crunch, it's kind of hard to shuffle through all the different rods and reels on your boat deck. But having a color-coded reel can help you out because you know that reel is perfect for that lure. So you, once you identify which reel you need to pick up, you just pick that up by the color and off you go, go fishing. I hope you guys have enjoyed this unboxing review. I know I don't do much unboxing reviews these days because a lot of people do them. Uh, I spend most of my time doing vlogging or fishing. But if you guys want to see more of these unboxing and you know, me playing with different type of reels and toys, you know, let me know that this is what you want to see more of on my channel. If you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe because there's going to be a ton of fishing video and fishing related videos. And like I said, if you want to see more of these type of videos, make sure you leave me some feedback below. I thank you all for watching and until next time guys, tight lines. <laughs>